in my opinion, there are two hard steps for sewing the Penelope. One is inserting the V-wire, which you already did, so give yourself a nice round of applause. The other one is sewing the underwire channeling on the seam that connects the bralette cups to the front bodysuit or the front teddy. The, the actual sewing is not hard. It is showing what the sewing should be that I think is very confusing because this operation or step has three steps in it. So the first step is that you're sewing through the seam allowances only, only. The next steps are through all the layers. So let's jump right into it because once you get past this step, it is smooth sailing to the finish line. So for both the bodysuit and the teddy, you are gonna place your garments in a way that the seam allowances are facing one direction and the bodysuit or teddy is facing the other direction. You are going to lay your channeling or your, under, your underwire channeling on top. Plush sides should be face up. The non-plush side should be facing the bodysuit or the teddy. You are gonna lay this down, and what is most difficult about this step is that the edge of your channeling is lined up with the seam line. But your stitches are an eighth of an inch inside that channeling. So you are not necessarily sewing over your original stitch line. You might, if your stitching is not perfect, perfection's overrated, you might go over your original stitches, but it's not intended to. And it's no big deal if you do. So you are going to stitch with a straight stitch just inside that channel line. One more thing about this step is that when you are sewing through the seam allowances only, you wanna make sure that you are sewing them in a way so that they will be flipped down into the, not into, but towards the bodysuit on the next step, not towards the bra cups. So if you're sewing through the seam allowances, you could sew it on this side of the seam allowance so that it flips up into the cup. That is wrong, that is wrong. You wanna be sewing them to the seam allowances so that they will eventually be flipped down. That is a very common mistake that I'm calling out now. So I'm gonna be sewing through the seam allowances only so that in the next step, they will flip down into the uh, bodysuit or teddy. Sewing the first pass of the underwire channeling, done. As you can see here, it was sewn on this side, not this side, and just through the seam allowances. Next step, or step two, is to press them down and you're gonna sew on the opposite side of it. So the first pass or step was on the side closest to the bra cups. On the second pass or second step, it's on the side closest to the bodysuit or teddy. And on this one, you are sewing it through all layers of fabric. Also, if you have anything, if you have some um, fold over elastic hanging out here, you wanna trim that back. Second step or stitch line, done. Third step is to wrap the underwire channeling around and you are gonna do a straight stitch just back and forth to tack it down. Now this can get tricky because it's very bulky here. So a trick is to um, iron it with a iron on a synthetic setting and use steam and then use your fingers to press it so to, to thin it out because it is very bulky. And I like to do my stitches vertically, not horizontally. I just feel like my machine and my um, needle move easier when it's up and down versus horizontally. 
Third step is finished. I wrapped the underwire channeling around and tacked it uh, vertically with straight stitches three to four times. I'm also going to clip back those. The red tails are underwire channeling tails. And then we're gonna put this away for the next step because we have the front teddy and the front bodysuit assembled. Now let's go on to the back teddy and back bodysuit and assemble that. Then we'll bring it all together and attach the back to the front. So for both the back teddy as well as the back bodysuit, you're gonna sew the fold-over elastic along this U-shape. I'm not gonna show me sewing it because it is the same application as the bra cups on the neckline edge. So how you sewed the fold-over elastic on the neckline edge, you will sew it the same way on the U-shape. And after you sew the fold-over elastic on the U-shape, on the back teddy, go ahead and add your gathering stitch along this top edge. The same way that you added the gathering stitch to the front teddy skirt portion. Same way you did this, you're gonna do that here. Then on the lower back band, you're gonna sew fold over elastic along the bottom edge. So a bunch of like little steps in this portion, but they're super easy and it'll just help bring the back teddy or the back body suit together really quickly. Once the fold over elastic is sewn to the U portion on the teddy and the body suit, we are going to assemble the rest of it. So right now we have like all the component parts of the back pieces assembled. Now we're gonna bring it together so that we can attach it to the front. So for the teddy, I sewed the gathering stitch along the top edge and now I'm going to gather it just like I did with the front teddy. you are going to place this band over the top edge so that they overlap about a quarter of an inch. And then you're gonna pin through all the layers and sew them together with a zigzag stitch. the back bodysuit you are going to place the top back band or just the back bands um, over the bottom of the bodysuit about a quarter of an inch again and you are going to sew them together with a zigzag stitch and again same thing uh, with the bodysuit as for the teddy is that this should extend past this U opening. Once we do this step, we'll be able to attach the backs to the fronts. Back of the bodysuit is assembled. Now, once you do this step, you can proceed to attach the front to the back at the side seam. Pin them together, you will do a straight stitch and your underwire channel is gonna come up right next to that stitch line. Now, since we're dealing with very sheer fabrics, uh, serging is optional. You can also press it to one side and do a zigzag stitch. I personally like to do that because um, the serge can get thick and get bulky, whereas if I just top stitch it, it, just, it looks just as nice as a serge.
So you will sew the front bodysuit to the back bodysuit at the side seam as well as the gusset seam. So I'll pin those together and I'll sew them with a straight stitch, back stitch at beginning and the end. Now for the teddy though, before you can attach the front teddy to the back teddy, you first have to sew fold over elastic along the underarm edge, along the bra cups and like the little, I don't even know what that's called, little edge right there. Um, and then once you do that same application as the front neckline, I used a wider fold over elastic here. You can use a skinnier fold over elastic if you want. Once you do that, then you can attach the back portion of it. Front body suit has been sewn to back body suits and front teddy has been sewn to back teddy. I think this is a good stopping point for this video. I just put those clips there so that the back didn't droop down before you added the straps. Don't mind me just talking to myself. So front teddy has been attached to back teddy. I think this is a good stopping point for this video because in the next video, we will finish the teddy as well as the bodysuit. Um, so I will see you in the next video.